Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 3 Minute Thursdays. As always, I am your host, Shizu-san, and my lovely assistant today is Rin. So without further ado, why don't we start our countdown? So as always, let's start with some Dolphy Dream news. So Volks has announced that the um, hometown Dolpa Sendai 2 event is ended but this begins the after event. So the after event will take place on both the Volks USA website and the Volks International website. Now the international website will start on September 8th and that will be a limited time thing. So it's both for Matoy and for Kaede. It's gonna start on the 8th and they're gonna have a certain amount in stock. So it's gonna be a click war. When those in stock is gone, then it goes to a limited pre-order. So they're gonna take a certain amount of pre-orders and once that's gone, they're closing it. That's it, done. Then on September 1st through September 10th, Volks USA is going to be having Kaede and Matoy up for a lottery. So this way you just put your submit your name in. If you win the lottery, you win the doll. There is a little bit of a discrepancy between the two as Kaede will be shipped sometime hopefully around November. But Matoy, if you win her, she's not going to be shipped until like way later, like probably spring of 2019. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but that's really it. That's everything for Dolphy Dream news this week. So let's move on to some smart doll news. So there's a lot to cover as we missed a two, uh, another, we missed a week. So we're covering two weeks worth of stuff. I don't know why I stumbled there. So anyways, let's just get started. So Danny Chu has posted in this picture here that the new girl, Kanata, is up for pre-order this Friday, August 24th. And if you purchase her along with the glasses, the glasses will be slightly cheaper than if you were to purchase the glasses separately. So just keep that in mind mind if you're interested in ordering Kanata. Now, also, Danny Chu has posted in this picture here of a new challenger, right? Like there's a new girl in town and she needs a name. So as always, you guys put it down in the comment section down below and send it over to Danny Chu on his Twitter page on what name you think she deserves. But as always, I'll put my two cents in, even though I'm really bad with names, but I think she looks like an Eleanor. Eh, my vote's for Eleanor. I kind of like it. Anyways, let's keep going. So the biggest news of the last two weeks that everybody's been talking about and Danny Chu's been tweeting about a lot is Smart Doll Cortex. So this is the Smart Doll Cortex in this picture here. It will be released or slated to be released sometime in October through November, somewhere in that time frame. Now, a couple cool things about this. One, it's made out of Asaflex plastic. I'm not really sure what that is, but you guys can Google it. It's not vinyl. Um, two, because it's going to be released during October and November, there's a good chance that those of you that will be attending Anime NYC, that he may bring some over. Now, he didn't say he was going to. I'm just speculating because the release time's during the same time. So there's a chance if you want her, you can get, you, if you want a Cortex, you can get it during Anime NYC. Chance. No guarantees. Also, the first batch of the Cortex will be Mirai only and she will be pre-built. So if you wanted the experience of building the Cortex doll yourself, the first couple of ones are not gonna be that way. They're just gonna be pre-built already for you to just take home. Um, the kit version is going to be released sometime later and it's going to be released with a special one-time use tool. So sometimes if you go to Ikea or you buy any kind of furniture they come with like little wrenches like um, that you only use for that time and then you could just chuck it or whatever. Uh, same thing with this. He's figuring out a way to include the one uh, one-time use tool in the packaging with Smart Dolt Cortex so you can use it when putting her together. Now also, because it's the Cortex, there's gonna be seam lines in the dolls. I can't talk today for some reason. There's gonna be seam lines in the dolls. And if you're handy, if you've done like any kind of like building of Gundams or whatnot, you can get rid of those seam lines. But don't worry if you don't know anything about that. Danny Chu did say that he's going to release a tutorial on how to get rid of the seam lines sometime in the future. We don't know when, but he's planning to release it sometime in the future so that all of you can get rid of the seam lines if you so choose to. But that's like the biggest news right there. And then the last thing about Smart Doll Cortex is the price, of course. Now he says it's going to be cheaper because it's cheaper to make. Uh, and it's, um, it's uh, what's it called? It's cheaper to make, the material's cheaper, and it's faster to make. But don't be fooled, just because it's cheaper and faster does not mean it's going to be like $50 or something like that. He hasn't released how much it's gonna actually cost. My speculation is maybe half the price of original doll or maybe a little bit more than half the price. That's just my speculation. As I said, he didn't release any prices so far 
for the cortex, but that's just my take on it. And then also Danny Chu has posted in this picture here that he's working on new prototype face plates. Now these are face protectors for your doll. So if you carry them in a duffel bag like me or in a backpack and you don't want their face getting all scratched up, you can use this. So this is in the prototype stage. Let Danny Chu know in his Twitter page or his Twitter feed rather, and let me know in the comment section below if you really want to see this happen. Now also Danny Chu has also posted in this picture here that he has released the apparel pattern. So now you can make shirts and trousers for your dolls. The patterns are available on Smart Doll website. And then lastly, Danny Chu's posted on this picture here that he released uh, or he's planning to release new stain prevention items. Now this will be the ankle socks and the leggings for those of you that bought the long boots or those of you that just have shoes that want to make sure that your dolls don't get stained. They have the ankle socks version. They will come probably sometime in the future. Just there's no estimated date as of yet. But that wraps up today's episode of Three Minute Thursdays. It's a little bit longer than usual because we are catching up for two weeks. But as always, I am your host, Shizu-san, and my lovely assistant over here is Reem. So please remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.